one thing i've noticed about this house is it kicks out a lot of good quality they fragrances have great projection excellent longevity and typically complement machines i had gucci uh, i think it was gucci guilty from them and i went through that it was just such a such a beautiful fragrance it's definitely one that i have to go and pick up again black butter which was a great one from them i'm almost through this one i mean just a gorgeous compliment creamy buttery type of a scent oh, i got a little bit of a smokiness aspect to it something that almost smells like a coffee in here as well the fragrance that i want to talk to you guys about today this fragrance black leopard by nazar fragrances love the design on this love the black and gold label uh very simplistic but straightforward presentation lovely cylinder style bottle here got the gold cap gold atomizer the spray on this straight up fire hydrant really nice fine mist kicks out a huge wide blast uh so i would recommend if you don't want to go through this and you know so quickly or at least whenever you're using it to not waste as much bring it a little closer or maybe spray it under your clothes spray it under your shirt because this is a wide blast and a decent amount of it will get on you but a decent amount of it is just going to go into the air and you just you're missing out this one right here is i like this i love a good fall and winter fragrance but every once in a while, I want something that's just going to be strictly for winter. I call these winter weather weapons. I want something where I can go out into the cold, into the snow, into those negatives. I want something that I can go outside in that weather. and Something's going to be able to cut, slice, and still exist on my skin. It's not going to be afraid and it's not going to be timid. And it's going to have the muscle that I need for it to uh, to shine through in those cold conditions. This fragrance, in my opinion, has the ability to do that. This is something that you can easily wear in the fall. Don't get me wrong. But there are some fragrances that are, you know, that are fall and winter oriented that would lean more so towards winter. In my opinion, this is a winter weapon. Excellent atomizer. Great presentation. Let's check this out here. I mean, just super wide distribution. The notes for this fragrance, pepper, bergamot, sweet orange, cinnamon, myrrh, sandalwood, tobacco, incense, labdanum. You have tonka bean, vanilla absolute, isoe super, musk, cedar, as well as vetiver. You're gonna get this woody, peppery, deep, smoky, uh, smoldering, punchy but smooth right amount of spices kind of got like this rolling spice slightly slightly sparkle vibe going on it's deep it's it's woody sort of dark has some earthiness to it as well there's this dry green aspect that kind of has like a peppery vibe to it as well comes in and i, I really really like the way that it comes in Get that smoldering aspect from that incense a beautiful earthy smoke from that cedar and vetiver combination the myrrh and the cinnamon working together perfectly then you're going to get a leathery a peppery leathery aspect from the labanum so there's a lot of notes that have similar profiles that have similar uh sort of jobs so to speak you got pepper you have incense myrrh you have labdanum, tonka bean, cedar, as well as vetiver. All of these have the ability to have a sort of peppery, smoky, slash savory, woody aspect. And so these all come together and just create a really beautiful unison profile that is just masculine. It's a dry, woody, dark depth has a slight sweetness in there from that tonka bean, but not a lot, but the pepperiness is there. But somehow with all of these sharing somewhat of a similar profile, somewhat of a similar objective, they all manage to come in and just create a nice bubble. So with this many peppery aspects, 
it can get sharp and bitey and punchy really, really fast. But this one is done where everything is sort of kept in this bubble. The bubble gets sort of bigger, you know, with with however many sprays you put on, but it, the bubble never gets sharp. It just gets, a, the bubble just gets wider, if that makes sense. So you're putting this fragrance on, it's dense, it's room feeling, it's eye catching or nose catching, but it's not bitey. It doesn't bite me at all. There's no really sharp components where I'm just like, ah, oh, no, that's enough. It, it just creates a really nice um, scent bubble around you. And it has the peppery and the woody and the smoky aspects to it, but nothing's really offensive. It's not really like, oh God, that's enough. It just, it smells really smooth and you get those peppery and those woody aspects, but it's, it's just, it's not done in a harsh way at all. Then on top of that, you got cinnamon, cinnamon coming in there and it's like a cold, smooth cinnamon that just sort of balances out everything that it's coming in contact with. You have some vanilla absolute, you have some sandalwood in here, you have some musk, and these are gonna give you like this smooth, uh, creamy, add a little bit more depth, a little bit more character. And I believe some of these aspects is what dial down some of that pepperiness from those previous notes that we stated. I don't get much of the sweet orange, I don't get much of the bergamot. I can try to refresh this spray and see if I can catch it right on that opening. And I do, I do catch it in that opening. It's there and it's extremely faint. <laughs> it's extremely faint. As soon as I catch it, it's gone. But it's an aspect to this fragrance that may provide some character, but it's not gonna stick around long. This fragrance is gonna be com comprised of a lot of those resinous, heavy, peppery, woody aspects in this fragrance. It, to be perfectly honest, this reminds me of a really beefy version of Parfum de Mali Layton. There's everything that I would want in a Layton. It has a little bit of a crisp freshness without having to utilize apple. You got your tobacco, you got your vanilla. Sharing a, some somewhat of a similar DNA, I definitely get like a really beefed up Layton sort of a vibe from this one with the, of course, you know, going a different direction. It is not a one-to-one -one or anything like that. This isn't a clone of Layton at all, but it just reminds me of that DNA and how it comes off. There's a slight airiness to it that I catch that just is really faint. It's not loud. It's just a nice little airiness that sort of breathes through all of that peppery, woody, musky, smoky aspects of it. This is airiness that sort of spins and, and sort of weaves through that and creates just a little bit more, a little bit more movement. Uh, having movement in a fragrance is important because you don't want the fragrance to seem stuffy. You don't want it to seem like it's dense and kind of sitting in one spot. You want a little bit of movement so it doesn't seem so linear. And this one has that. I've used a decent amount of Black Leopard, but as I said, the atomizer on this one is crazy. So a lot of the, the usage that you're going to get, it's going to come from how much juice that atomizer is actually just kicking out on just one spray. Super excited to try out Black Leopard some more and give this a few more wearings and just see how this one unfolds on skin, how this one works. To me, the color on this one is just beautiful. And to me, it matches up well. This comes off and it just smells like a black peppery gold. That's the, that's the kind of vibe that I get. That's the depiction that I get. I just picture like this peppery, spicy gold, if that makes sense. So, with the name Black Leopard, with the label that he chose, everything just goes well. And I get exactly somewhat what I expect just seeing the bottle. You get like a nice light yellowish colored juice on there. Really nice. They make some good quality stuff. There's nothing I've gotten from them that wasn't complete quality. I will definitely drop the link in the description where you guys can check out Nazar fragrances for yourself and see if anything catches your attention. Has a nice selection, nice presentation, great customer service, updating his inventory periodically and adding in new additions as well. Definitely something to look forward to. And that is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.